Chapter 41 Charles Sees New Hope Stark's Dinner Invitation The rising sun is gradually rising, rising little by little to the city skyline. At the moment is still early, but the road of New York City, a behemoth, is already full of traffic. After all, as the heart of the country's economy, countless people have been busy with work at dawn. Fortunately, the extended Lincoln, who was carrying Endless's party, arrived at the manor that King had prepared for them before the morning rush hour. Mr. Endless, this manor is specially prepared for you by our boss, named Darren Hutt Manor. The waiter opened the car door for Endless and respectfully introduced. Tell Jin on my behalf, well done, I am very satisfied. Endless stood beside him, looked around the manor in front of him, and nodded. I have to say that Jin is very attentive, and the prepared manor is located in a famous wealthy area of New York, with a beautiful and quiet environment and fresh and pleasant air. Just entering from the gate of the manor and driving at high speed took more than ten minutes to arrive in front of the villa in the center of the manor. The five-story villa, with white as the overall tone, has a palatial atmosphere just standing at the door. As for the flower garden surrounding the villa, it is planted with a variety of expensive and rare flowers and plants, and when you look at the color matching, you know that you must have asked the master to carefully match and prune. In addition, there are all kinds of courts, swimming pools, and even cinemas. This will be our temporary residence, and now we are safe, Endless said. With the destruction of an elite task force yesterday, SAI Yield will certainly not act rashly lately so they can clean up here for a while. As for the Akali Institute for GMO, even S. Shield cannot solve things, let alone the Institute. Logan looked at the house in front of him and immediately sighed when he heard Endless's words. More than a hundred years ago, he also lived a peaceful life of ordinary people, and then everything was broken. After all the ups and downs, Logan thought that he would die in a mess in his life. I didn't expect that everything seemed to be slowly coming back now. He looked at Endless with a complicated expression, and a complicated look flowed in his eyes. Logan remembered what Endless had said earlier. How can an 18-year-old boy have such great ambitions, and really down-to-earth step-by-step towards the goal? Endless noticed Logan's gaze and grinned, then looked at Wanda and Pete next to him with tangled faces. Wanda, Pete, you can stay here if you want. He's still interested in origin magic power, which is one of the reasons why Wanda is around. Laura on the side was a little unhappy to hear Endless's invitation to the siblings, and after coming out of the Akali GMO Institute, Endless was one of the few people who gave her warmth. She always felt that Wanda would steal Endless's concern for her. Thinking of this, Laura unconsciously looked at Wanda's face and then moved her gaze down, her brows furrowed deeper and Pete resisted when he heard Endless's words, twisting and pinching and wanting to open his mouth to refuse, but he was afraid that the latter would be angry and couldn't open his mouth. Endless, thank you. When I have ability, I will definitely answer you back. Wanda rushed up and hugged Endless and said movingly. She was still worried that she would sleep on the streets tonight. Unexpectedly, the big brother in front of him actually took them in again kindly. Okay, but Wanda, you let go first. Endless felt two balls of softness, and a little stiffness pulled the girl stuck to her body apart. Charles sat in a wheelchair and did not speak, with a kind smile on his face, silently watching Endless. There was a twinkle in his cloudy eyes full of vicissitudes. He always felt that he could see rising hope in this young man. And after the Wanda siblings will also live. Everyone decided to choose a room in the villa first, and then take a good look at the manor that will live here in the future. And every move of Endless and his party was watched by Natasha Romanoff in the distance. Head, Endless seems to be on the line with Kim. She called Nick Fury to report what she had learned. Okay, I see. You continue to follow up. Received. Natasha Romanoff then hung up the phone and continued to focus on Endless. T didn't expect that in this era, there is actually a mutant that can threaten SHLLD. She narrowed her eyes slightly, stretched out her pink tongue, and slowly licked her red lips, muttering. The other side. s 8 D Triboloid Wing Building. Inside the director's office. Nick. Fury's elbows were folded on his desk, his brows locked, and his face grew worse ever since Natasha Romanoff hung up. 
You can even see the bruises beating on the egg-like head. Endless got involved with Kim. This message made Nick. Fury was uneasy. Mutant means a force beyond the understanding of ordinary people, a danger that can erupt at any time. The gangster behind Jin and behind him represents the gray under the order, the shadow in the sun, riot, disorder, and dirty. If mutant plus gangsters, damn, I can't even imagine the consequences, Nick. Fury clenched his fists and cursed in a deep voice. Meanwhile, drenched manor, a luxurious and extravagant room. What's the matter? Endless picked up the phone and asked with squinted eyes. On the other end of the phone, Jin He stroked the cat in his arms and said in a deep voice, What you ask me to do, people are already on their way to the northern border. But there is one more thing to contact you this time. There's a Stark group banquet tonight, and I don't know if you'll be interested. Tony, Stark kid, after admitting that he is Iron Man, has been in the limelight lately. After hearing the other party's words, Endless remembered that before leaving yesterday, Jin said that the gang had a transaction with the Stark group. When definitely Kim walks in the sun, he will change his identity if he is cautious. The people of Stark didn't know that their trade partner was the King of Roar's Storm in the New York underworld. Hmm. Okay. Endless hesitation for a moment, but decided to participate. After all, the other party is a famous figure in the Marvel Universe, Tony. Stark. This time, maybe there will be other gains. Chapter 42. Endless's Warning to Natasha Romanoff. Head to Gotham City again. The time soon came to evening. The setting sun dyes the entire sky red, the clouds roll and the breeze is cool. A glittering star hotel in New York City in front of a sea of people crowded with media and newspaper reporters. They were holding their spears and cannons in anticipation, all waiting for a person to appear. Airplanes. A white supercar engine roared into the room, and the person in the driver's seat had just opened the door, and he didn't even have time to stick his feet out and the group of reporters were like wolves who had been hungry for a long time and smelled blood, regardless of the crowd. Click, click. Countless flashes of light flashed in unison, shining like stars around the supercar and terribly enthusiastic. Tony, it is said that the military court will pass you over because of the steel battle suit. What do you think? Will Stark Group mass-produce steel battle suits later? Tony, Say a word, Tony. One question after another came out of the reporter's mouth. The man who just got out of the driver's seat wearing sunglasses, giving people a cynical feeling, smiled helplessly in the face of such a scene. He's Tony Stark, inside the hotel lobby. Jin whispered to Endless. T know him, so what kind of deal do you have with him? Endless knows the plot of Marvel well, even better than Tony. Stark also needs to know Tony. Stark. There have been arms deals before, but now it's all about other technologies. As the two whispered their conversations, there was no shortage of people who were attracted by Jin's exaggerated body shape and threw surprised glances at them from time to time. However, few people know the true identity of Kim, and many people in the outside world think that he is just an entrepreneur and philanthropist, Mr. Wilson. As for Endless, no one knows. Many people passing by thought he was Jin He's follower or something, Definitely he didn't care either, and focused most of his attention on Tony. Stark. Watching the latter casually respond to reporters' questions, he entered the hotel lobby under the protection of driver Happy. Endless silently judged, Tony of this universe. Stark has just become an Iron Man, not so responsible, and just a playboy who cares about fun. Meanwhile, Tony, Stark also stood on the high platform in the hotel lobby and began his speech for tonight's banquet, soon. His humorous opening remarks ended and the banquet officially began. Hey, long time no see, Mr. Wilson. As the host, Tony, Stark enthusiastically greeted Roar with each guest and soon came to Jin He. Mr. Stark, or should I call you, Iron Man? Ha ha, Jin joked, the two lightly clinked glasses, and then he introduced Endless to Tony as his partner. Stark, nice to meet you. Tony. Stark smiled and nodded in greeting and also clinked glasses with Endless. However, the two did not communicate more. Tony. Stark quickly turned around to deal with the other guests. Tonight, there are a lot of entrepreneurs who have come to his Iron Man identity, and he can't afford to spend too much time on everyone. Seeing this, Endless didn't have any other ideas. Tony. Stark's more combat power 
comes from his Iron Man battle suit. As for his own physique and fighting skills, he is considered top-notch among ordinary people. But Endless, as a mutant, has a variety of abilities and Batman fighting skills and has no idea about Tony's own abilities. Just don't know my ability. Can you just give me the Iron Man battle suit or the way to make the battle suit? In this way, I can make ordinary people have combat power in batches, he thought silently. At this time, a charming and moving figure walked out of the crowd. The person Endless recognized was none other than Natasha Romanoff. Her black, close-fitting evening gown outlines the curves of her body, and the design of the low-cut suspenders makes her delicate collarbones and large areas of skin show. Natasha Romanoff painted, dressed in red lips sexy, stepping on the cat's stride and swaying, juicy and full and trembling, diffusing seductive beauty. To seem to be seeing you for the first time, do you want to have a drink together? She walked up to Endless with rolling eyes, gently raised her glass, and showed a charming smile. With peach blossoms coming so soon, it seems that I am not suitable to stay here anymore. Jin showed an ambiguous expression to Endless and walked away with self-confidence. However, Endless does not think that Natasha Romanoff is a peach blossom, the other party is simply a poisonous scorpion. It seems that you are the one sent by S. Child to keep an eye on me. He didn't intend to go around the corner and directly opened his mouth to expose Natasha Romanoff's identity. This gentleman, what are you talking about? What does Esild mean? Natasha Romanoff was stunned when she heard this. She obviously hid it well. How could she be seen through? But she refused to admit it. Natasha Romanoff, trained as an agent in the red side since childhood, has greatly slowed down its aging rate after pre-modification, codenamed Black Widow. Now joining SHELD for Nick, Fury does things. Endless stared at the face on the other side, which was obviously beginning to become a little ugly, and said indifferently, What do you want me to say? Hearing your life experiences are being told like you know, Natasha Romanoff's original enthusiasm immediately became extremely gloomy. You invaded my brain. After reading Endless's information, she naturally knows all the abilities of the former, including the ability of the mind. But she didn't feel anything abnormal. To didn't do anything, Endless said. He really didn't do anything. After all, as a traverser, he knew everything about Black Widow. But at this point, Natasha Romanoff didn't bother to talk too much nonsense with the other party on this issue. She took two steps forward, and her coquettish body almost directly attached to Endless, and a faint fragrance penetrated the latter's nose. Natasha Romanoff's red lips came close to Endless's ear and threatened coldly. You better leave this city, otherwise you will pay a terrible price for it. Threaten me? Does it mean that you don't think the lives of these people around you matter? Endless took two steps back, looking indifferent, and then he turned to Tony. Stark beckoned and pointed to Natasha Romanoff. Tony, did you invite this lady? Tony, Stark saw Natasha Romanoff go dark for an instant, and he remembered the woman who had infiltrated his company. And the thought that he was fascinated by a female spy almost slept with the other party. It made him feel humiliated. He immediately began to recruit the Roar people to drive Natasha Romanoff out. Security guard, please ask this lady to go out. She is not welcome here. We'll see you again. Natasha Romanoff, self-aware, glanced coldly at Endless and walked out of the hall. Endless watched with interest as the other party's back quickly moved away. I have to say that this woman's back curve is also perfect. After a while, seeing that the time was almost right, Endless also left the dinner. Natasha Romanoff is sure to take his word back, and the SH1ELD will not be a threat to him again lately. Back to Drenched. Endless saw that there should be no problems on the Marvel Universe side in a short period of time, so he explained to Logan and said that he was going out for a few days. Logan didn't ask too much either. Endless then returned to the room and used dimensional teleportation to travel to DC Gotham. He always felt that this visit would be very rewarding. Chapter 43, Catwoman, Riddler Appears. One last thing before heading to the metropolis, DC Gotham. At this moment, it is in the evening and the residual sun is slanting. The upper half of the city is dyed golden by the setting sun, and the lower half sinks into shadow. Endless walk through the streets of the city, 
passing by the wrong pedestrians, most of them with the fatigue of work on their faces. The breeze swept the corners of the newspaper in his hand, and every line on it smelled of fresh ink, which was the freshly baked city evening newspaper. The penguin man was killed. Endless looked at the headlines of Copo's shooting in Gotham Market, narrowed his eyes slightly and muttered. Flipping through the newspapers, you can see that the headline on the other side reads, The new mayor has the majority of the citizens and will take office. The man in a white suit who appeared on the newspaper page has a square and angular face that exudes a sense of righteousness, and his posture is majestic and tall, as if he is a righteous partner. Now this guy can be said to be a completely good person, but unfortunately, Endless recognized the identity of the other party, the future two-faced man Harvey. Dante, Amon who sees the city as a writer, he sighed in a low voice and continued to read the rest of the newspaper. Seeing that most of the reports were that Batman had assassinated the former mayor, Endless shook his head. He knows that although Batman is hiding in the dark, he has always adhered to his principle of not killing. There are other people who shoot and kill, Bruce. Wayne's butler, Alfred, definitely has no interest in clarifying the truth anyway. The Batman guy carries enough negative speculation, and it is estimated that Bruce himself does not care. After reading all the reports, Endless put down the newspaper and cast his gaze on the surrounding neighborhood. At this moment, he had reached an old neighborhood where most of the buildings exuded an old atmosphere, and pedestrians were gradually becoming scarce. Now that winter is getting colder, you can see smoke billowing from the dumpsters, and many homeless people are crouching in front of makeshift shacks, burning garbage to keep warm. The walls are littered with colorful lines and messy graffiti. On the street, there are young people with thin hands and feet and pale complexions squatting on the ground in twos and threes, picking and choosing cigarette butts that have been thrown down, looking at such a strange cultural scene in Gotham City. Endless felt the dirty and messy atmosphere coming to the surface, thinking that he had come to the slum. Da da da. A crisp and swift sound of footsteps suddenly approached quickly from behind him. Before Endless could turn around, he smelled a faint fragrance, and the tip of his nose moved, feeling that the smell was very good. I'm being followed. Can I temporarily disguise my boyfriend? At this time, he saw a woman following him, and the other party lowered his voice and said in a slightly panicked tone, Don't look back, otherwise it will be very troublesome to expose. However, Endless, who has the ability of the heart, knew that the woman was lying, but did not immediately expose it, but looked at the woman in front of him. The other party is only half a head shorter than himself. He has long brown hair that reaches up to his shoulders, his skin is as smooth as cream, and his facial features are delicate and charming. It's a pity that the autumn clothes on his body are heavy, and the whole person is tightly wrapped. Endless raised his eyebrows and felt that she was familiar, but he couldn't immediately determine the identity of the other party. At this moment, a cold voice sounded in his head. Battle detected. Drop reward. High-level theft. Catwoman. Hearing this voice, Endless reacted. The other party is not Catwoman Selina. Kyle, it seems that the so-called being tracked in the mouth of this habitual thief is probably just to steal his wallet. Not an est. E-mate. Endless, who had obtained all the ability of the other party's theft, had realized that his wallet had fallen into the hands of the other party in the past few seconds of contact. At the same time, he instinctively judged all the details of Catwoman's theft. Those people are gone, thank you. At this time, Catwoman, who had her wallet in hand, whispered thanks and was ready to leave. Syllable, as soon as she took half a step, her hand holding her wallet was directly detained by Endless. At the same time, the latter's slightly mocking voice sounded in Catwoman's ears. Since you want to thank, you can't be so hasty. What are you going to do? Catwoman was confused, her brows furrowed and wanted to resist, but she found that the teenager in front of her, who looked not much stronger than herself, had amazing strength in her hands. Unable to resist, he staggered and pulled her into a coffee shop not far away. No one is following you out there, right? Endless brought Catwoman to the bar and looked at the latter with a smile. He didn't expect to meet an expert, I confessed. 
Seeing this, Catwoman knew that she was exposed, and she was a little discouraged and handed over her wallet directly, her eyebrows lowered and pitiful. It's not okay to admit the mistake just like this. The wallet is originally my thing, and you don't have to pay any price for returning it to me. Endless took back his wallet and smiled playfully. Maybe you should treat me to a cup of coffee, otherwise you don't want to go directly to the police to confess your mistake, this young lady. Catwoman's eyes widened, scanning the price of the menu and crying, no matter what kind of coffee was so expensive that she felt distressed. Just looking back at Endless still smiling at himself, as if saying that he would call the police if he didn't ask for coffee, Catwoman suddenly softened and ordered the cheapest cup of coffee with the pain of the flesh. Drink it. I'm going to watch you drink it all. Not a drop is allowed to be wasted. Wait until the coffee is ready. She was angry that Roar Roar brought it to Endless, and her big dark eyes were full of resentment. Because of a cup of coffee, the already difficult economic situation is even worse. Endless took a sip of coffee and looked at Catwoman's face as dark as a resentful woman, feeling funny in his heart. Catwoman in this period doesn't seem to have grown up yet, not a few years older than him. There is still a lot of naivety in behavior and psychology, but there is a lot of room waiting to be developed when it can be bumped up. Then, the news from the store's television caught Endless's attention. Six government personnel were killed in Gotham City last night, and riddles were left at the scene of the murder. The Gotham police have identified the suspect as Riddler and are making every effort to arrest it. Endless turned his head to look at it, his eyes narrowed slightly. The Riddler has begun to show up in Gotham, but he can meet this guy before going to the Metropolis. He came interested. At this time, Catwoman next to him saw that Endless's attention was focused on the TV and quickly took the opportunity to slip away quietly. She didn't know that after she left, Endless chuckled, took a sip of coffee. If Endless were willing, a hundred Catwoman would not be able to escape his control. But he still has a lot to do, and there is no need to bring a woman with him. Wait until you have time to play with her. The other side. Catwoman, who had already run into the alley outside, was full of remorse. Damn, damn it, damn it! She clenched her fists and tried her best to vent. Her expression was indignant. Fifth, the wallet is not stolen. Forget it and put a cup of coffee money into it. How can coffee be so expensive? Catwoman frowned, thinking of the price of that cup of coffee becoming more and more distressed. That shop is really... They can obviously grab it directly, and they will even give customers a cup of coffee. Aft, or walking through the streets and sighing for a while, Catwoman's mood calmed down a little. The Riddler. Someone is going to be in bad luck. She remembered the news she had just seen in the coffee shop, frowning angrily and muttering to herself. Chapter 44. Elevator Massacre. Three Riddles. Vote, vote, vote. At 40 Power Stones, another 10-chapter mass release will happen within a day. Time passes slowly. Not long after Gotham, which had already entered the evening, it was completely shrouded in the thick night. Snakes, insects, rats and ants hiding in the dark alleys of narrow streets began to move out at this time, stirring up the otherwise quiet night. Hmm. An ink-colored cloak fluttered, like the swift black figure of a bat, and also flew through the major streets. Endless didn't show up last night. I don't know if I can wait for him today. Bruce, who turned into a vigilante, flashed his eyes, and the hook and claw rope in his hand contracted rapidly, helping him cross the distance of 100 meters and reach the roof of dozens of high-rise buildings. He stands under a full moon hanging from a wheel, overlooking the neighborhood where Endless frequents at his feet. The Riddler who appeared in the past two days has caused countless citizens to panic, and even the police station has no way to do it. And Bruce is also investigating the Riddler's affairs, but he alone seems to be a bit struggling, and he needs a helper. Endless is undoubtedly the best one. Ah, no, no. Just as Bruce's eyes kept scanning the street below, a panicked female voice cut through the night sky. Next second. Batman sniffed the wind, a few tossing and turning, plus hooks and claws to help, but in a blink of an eye, he was already in the alley where the female voice came. I saw a drunken gangster who was about to violate the woman in front of him, 
and he didn't notice that there was a dangerous figure behind him. Blah, blah. Several muffled sounds of fists colliding with the body sounded, and the gangster who was held in Bruce's hand had fainted. Thank you, thank you. The woman regained her freedom and looked at Batman in thanks, and then quickly left in shock. It seems that Mr. Vigilante has not been very popular recently. At this time, Endless's voice came from behind Bruce. You finally appeared. Bruce casually dropped the gangster and let it collapse to the ground, turned his head to look at Endless, and his hoarse voice did not fluctuate at all after changing his voice, as if he didn't care about the latter's ridicule. The mayor died, but you didn't kill him. Endless noticed the other party's mood swings and shrugged his shoulders and said in a relaxed tone, People outside are questioning me. Why do you think I didn't do it? Bruce was a little surprised when he heard this, and his eyes were puzzled. You can't kill people. Your butler did it, right? Endless laughed. Bruce was deeply shocked when he heard this. The other party guessed well. He had never killed anyone. This was his insistence in his heart. I am afraid that after breaking this principle, I will fall into a hell from which I can never turn back. After all, as a dark knight who is free from the law, if his hands are stained with blood, then it is no different from those crimes. T said you would never kill, and no one knows you better than I do. The corners of Endless's mouth seemed to be smiling, and he looked at the other party and said confidently. Bruce, who received such an answer, moved slightly in his heart, but did not continue to ask. He knew that if Endless wanted to say, he would naturally say it. It's just that in Bruce's heart, this teenager, who was originally from a mysterious origin, suddenly became more and more distant and his back was full of fog. Yesterday, there was a guy who liked to guess riddles and murdered six important officials in one fell swoop. I'm going to get him out tonight. Are you interested in joining him? Bruce said what he planned for tonight. Actually, I don't risk the lives of those officials. Endless raised his eyebrows and said with a bit of a smile in his tone, but I'm quite interested in the guy who guessed the riddle. In any case, it's good that you're willing to act together. After hearing Endless's promise to help, Bruce suddenly felt much less stressed. After all, after several contacts, although he still does not know the true identity of the other party, he has trust in Endless's ability. Then without further ado, let's get ready to go, Endless proposed. Wait a minute, the operation to capture the Riddler there is one person besides the two of us. Bruce didn't rush to leave and called out to Endless. Allies? Endless was puzzled at first, but then a dexterous figure flashed in front of him, and he vaguely guessed the identity of the third person in his heart. At this time, there is a night breeze blowing. Endless's ears moved, and he heard extremely slight but swift footsteps coming from far and near. He laughed a little. The identity of the ally in Bruce's mouth has been determined. Not for long. A figure jumped down from the next building, as dexterous as a cat, and landed silently, and the person wearing a cat ear mask appeared in the middle of the two. Let me introduce you. This is Catwoman. Bruce saw her appear, and turned to introduce the other party's identity to Endless. He didn't notice at all that the moment Catwoman on the opposite side saw Endless, his face under the mask instantly turned black. Catwoman never expected to meet again in this place shortly after escaping from this annoying fellow. But fortunately, under the disguise, he can't recognize my identity. Catwoman quietly breathed a sigh of relief and then stared at Endless with a cold gaze. As for Endless himself, he was surprised that he ran into it so quickly. It's just that he didn't choose to expose the identity of the other party. Since you are a Batman ally, you are welcome to join and Catwoman was still obsessed with the events of the evening, ignored the other party, and turned to look at Bruce. Are you sure that this little guy who doesn't even look like he has grown his hair can keep up with our rhythm? Do you remember the other day when a gang of more than two dozen people was slaughtered? Bruce couldn't help but remind. You mean? When Catwoman heard this, she immediately understood what the other party meant and couldn't help but take two steps back and look at Endless with wide eyes, and she was afraid for a while. Today, I provoked this guy who looked beautiful and thin, and now I told her that the other party was a murderous maniac? Suddenly, 
Catwoman's body wrapped in tights couldn't help but tremble twice. Okay, let's not waste time, let's go. Endless sensed her fear, found it funny, and immediately suggested. T didn't say anything. Bruce also glanced at Catwoman with a smile, and then took the lead and rushed towards the scene of the murder caused by the Riddler. Time goes on. Inside the underground parking lot of a government building in Gotham. In front of the scrapped elevator door. The police have completely cordoned off the scene. Detective Gordon was frowning, looking at the blood-stained elevator in front of him. At this time, Endless and others who received the news arrived here. The steel cable of the elevator broke and it fell sharply from a high place and killed the people inside. Gordon took a deep look at Endless behind Bruce and then said with a twinkle in his eyes, he killed six people at once. We don't have a clue so far. Bruce's face was solemn when he heard this and he observed the mess around him. The scene of the tragic deaths of six victims yesterday left no trace except for a few riddles without beginning and end. He hadn't even figured out the Riddler's motive, and he didn't have time to catch a clue. For a time, everyone at the scene fell into deep thought. Endless, on the other hand, looked around and walked around, his gaze sweeping over every corner of the scene. If you don't know how to investigate, don't destroy the scene at will. Catwoman looked at Endless and couldn't help but complain. Endless ignored her and turned to look at Gordon. What is the identity of decedent? When Gordon heard this, he remembered the other party's performance when dealing with the birthday boy last time, and paused and said, The six people yesterday, including tonight's victims, are all politicians with a decisive voice in the Gotham government. While speaking, he pointed to the ground in front of the elevator entrance, and every murder scene has left these three riddles. Endless looked along the position, pointed by the other party, and narrowed his eyes slightly. On the ground, lying quietly three riddles written crookedly written by black paint. A diamond plate, a glowing dew, a place you'll never leave. Where am I? It smells like green paint, pours out like purple paint, brushes on a white van. What is it? Some people's nightmares, some people's saviors. My hand was cold and desperate, reaching out to that warm heart. At this time, Gordon's face was serious and continued. Since last night, we have organized many people to solve and disassemble these words, but we have not been able to get accurate answers. He glanced at Endless, who was in thought, and then added, I also can't figure out the Riddler's motives for doing this. Just this matter, the entire Gotham Police Department is in trouble. They hadn't encountered such a difficult criminal for a long time, and the other party was very cautious and couldn't find any clues on the scene. Even the surveillance footage did not find a suspicious figure. Maybe I already know the answer. Not long ago, Endless, who had already experienced some thought, his eyes flickered and slowly spoke. When the three people next to him heard this, their eyes focused on him. Chapter 45. The Answer to Three Riddles The next target is the mayor. The answer is simple. He has already told us the next goal. Inside the dimly lit underground car park, Endless's voice was not heavy when he said this, but it clearly fell into the ears of everyone present. Everyone's eyes immediately converged on him. All the police in Gotham, as well as all the time we spent a day, failed to analyze the results. You dare to say you know the answer with just one glance? I don't believe it. Catwoman stared at Endless's narrow eyes, like a lonely cat full of disdain. As for the others, although they did not speak, the expressions on their faces also showed their suspicions about the teenager in front of them. The Riddler's next step will definitely be to attack government officials. Endless was not affected by the atmosphere around him full of doubts about himself and continued to speak steadily. Wait for his last word to blurt out. The atmosphere of the scene changed and the expressions on everyone's faces became strange. To thought you really had some skills, where did I think you were just completely arrogant and not confident? Aren't you talking about something obvious? As a result, you don't know the answer to the riddle. Catwoman seemed speechless, and with the presence of opinions in her heart, she spoke sharply. Bruce and Gordon on the side were a little disappointed. Just now, the two really thought that Endless had just been able to surprise them and guess the answer. 
but opening their mouths, neither Bruce nor Gordon said much. After all, they were like headless flies together with themselves, and they couldn't find a clue. Nor did he take a stand to accuse Endless of anything. Don't worry, I'm not done yet. Seeing this, Endless continued unhurriedly. The answer to the riddle is actually very simple, and the Riddler also put his next goal in the answer to the riddle. When he said the following, his expression began to gradually become serious, word by word, his next target, the incoming new mayor. Harvey, Dent, the Riddler wants to drive the city completely crazy. This time, as Endless's voice fell, the atmosphere changed abruptly again, becoming solemn and solemn, and even the air became a little solemn. The Riddler's next hands-on target is the new Mayor Harvey. Dent, if this is the case, and he succeeds, Gotham will definitely be completely thrown into chaos by then, come to think of it. The expressions on the faces of everyone present did not look relaxed. After all, just thinking about it can guess what the consequences would be if something happened. So, what is the answer to the riddle? Are you really sure? Bruce, who had been silent for a long time, looked at Endless's eyes and asked in a deep voice, If this matter is really according to Endless, it is too involved to tolerate the slightest sloppiness. Indeed, you can't make a conclusion about the Riddler's goal just because of your one-sided story. Gordon took a deep look at Endless. Although in my heart, because of Endless's self-confidence, coupled with the other party's previous performance, I faintly believe what the other party said. But this kind of case, which may even involve the entire city, is not enough to use a few simple words of a mysterious teenager as evidence of action. Endless heard the questions of several people on the other side, but he could understand their thoughts, and he didn't want to be angry and just smiled. A diamond plate, a glowing fireplace, a place you'll never leave. Where am I? He uttered the first riddle, paused before answering. It's home. The three of them heard the answer and seemed reasonable when they thought about it. The place where you will never leave, indeed, is only home. Endless did not stop and continued. It smells like green paint, poured out like purple paint, brushed on the white truck. What is it? White. Some people's nightmares, some people's saviors. My hand was cold and desperate, reaching out taut with that warm heart. It was a nightmare. Endless's eyes were like ancient wells calmly swept over the few people in front of him and slowly said all the answers to the three riddles. Home, white, nightmare? After hearing Endless's answer, Bruce was stunned for a moment and chewed on three answers to the riddle. The eyes are getting brighter and brighter. As for the others, they also fell silent, secretly comparing the three riddles with the riddles in their hearts. Then I was surprised to find that Endless's answer was completely correct. But these three answers don't seem to have anything to do with the mayor. Seeing that the teenager guessed three answers, Catwoman felt some admiration in her heart, but there was still some doubt on her mouth. Home may refer to Gotham City, and the one who regards Gotham City as a writer is the celebrity of these two days, Harvey. Dent. Endless faced the question, his expression remained calm and unchanged, and said, Definitely, if this article alone is not accurate enough, then there are two other mysteries. White corresponds to Harvey, Dent's favorite suit color, and the nightmare means to kill him, throw Gotham into chaos. Endless said a lot in one breath. These answers are all what he saw on the way here, perhaps because he has the professor's mental ability and he has greatly improved his IQ. The few people opposite became more and more silent as he spoke, falling into deep thought, and the shock on their faces became more and more obvious especially Gordon. He knew that the Gotham Police Department had assembled a group of veteran police officers with many years of criminal investigation experience, and they could not guess what the Riddler was thinking. So this problem was solved so easily by an 18-year-old boy? It seems that I still underestimate you. In addition to being particularly able to fight, I didn't expect you to have such a terrifying ability to solve cases. If those old police officers of the Gotham Police Department stand in front of you, I am afraid they will be ashamed to want to commit suicide. Gordon immediately praised Endless's wonderful performance and was amazed. Subsequently, he quickly reported the Riddler's target to the police station and asked them to quickly send someone to protect Harvey. Dent. 
What? Harvey. Dante is on his way to an exhibition now? Gordon, who had just had a clue to solve the riddle, heard the situation on the other end of the phone, and his face suddenly became difficult to look at again. Okay, I know anyway. Try to send someone over. Gordon hung up the phone in a low mood, his expression uneasy. If it's Harvey, if something happens to Dante, it will be a huge amount of blow to Gotham. The Riddler could strike at any moment. And now Harvey. Dante is in a situation where there is not enough protection, and it is likely that the Riddler chooses to start. After Endless on the side learned the current situation, he slowly frowned. There is no time. Let's go directly. After all, we are the closest place to the art exhibition. At this point, the rest of the people looked at each other, feeling that he had a lot of sense. Let's go. We don't have extra time to waste, Bruce. Wayne said with a deep breath. And Catwoman just after Endless's words, her beautiful eyes flashed a strange light to look at him, and she didn't refute again. Thereupon, several people hurriedly set off to Dent's location. Chapter 46 Riddler, you only have 60 seconds. It's night. The moon and stars are thin above the high sky, and the silver moon is like a hook quietly sprinkling water and moonlight on the whole world. At the moment, a grand exhibition of paintings is being held in the Gotham City Center Art Gallery. The organizers invited many influential artists, politicians, business tycoons, and other big shots. Harvey. Dante, as one of the figures in the limelight in Gotham City recently, naturally includes it. As a guest speaker, he took his sister Jessica to this exhibition that can be called a Gotham event. As the guests concluded their speeches, soon it was Harvey's turn for the finale. Dante takes the stage. Everyone, it's an honor to be here tonight. He stood behind the podium, his white suit straight and energetic, his hair combed meticulously and full of smiles. Looking at the enthusiastic audience in the audience, there was an inexplicable success in my heart. Tonight's participation in this show is to be able to increase his popularity in Gotham and meet high society. After all, he has been away from the city for many years, and now he still has to rely on tough social means to get support. Therefore, he attaches great importance to tonight's exhibition, and the people invited are also well-known people. And while the show is ongoing, Endless's party, which was only a few blocks away, had already arrived and ignored the security at the entrance of the exhibition hall and rushed directly into the room. Damn, this group of people are crazy. The security guards behind him who tried unsuccessfully to block them stared at their backs and cursed. The guests in the venue were also instantly attracted to the attention. What are these people doing? Ladies, be careful. Stay away from that bunch of maniacs. For a time, because of the arrival of Endless and others, the venue fell into an uproar. Everyone, please listen to me. Now this venue is very dangerous and may soon be subject to terrorist attacks. In order to ensure the safety of your lives, please get out of here as soon as possible. Although Gordon, as a police detective, had to use unconventional means to enter because of the urgency of his gaffe, he still did not forget his duty and took out his police badge and shouted roar. I hope to spread the current situation as quickly as possible. As soon as his words came out, the expressions of the people around him suddenly became frightened, and Roar was shocked, and he didn't know whether to believe him for a while. T vouch for my honor as a police detective. Gordon noticed the situation in the intervening field and added loudly, Detective Gordon, I don't know why you brought a few people in strange costumes to disrupt the order of the exhibition and create panic. Harvey on stage. Dante had a calm face, feeling very full of the interruption of his speech. You did such a thing without evidence. And I trust the security services and assure everyone that there will never be any surprises tonight. Tonight's show has invited many celebrities. Harvey Dante has worked security, and security alone has spent a lot of money. How can it be possible to let a police officer's side talk end? That way, all the money and energy he invested was in vain. T can think that you didn't respect me and deliberately embarrassed me. Harvey Dent continued to say angrily. Gordon heard that he knew that his move was to provoke Harvey. Dent too. But now is not the time to think about these side effects. He continued to shout, There will be an attack here soon. Please leave as soon as possible. Otherwise, 
it won't be long before everyone can't leave alive. In fact, most of the people present were Gotham figures with heads and faces. I have had some contact with the Gotham Police Department and know the number one person of Detective Gordon. At the moment, seeing him so resolute, for a while, many people in the field began to wonder in their hearts whether the terrorist attack in the other party's mouth was true or not. There are also people who are more desperate for their lives and have the mentality of preferring to believe it or not and have begun to prepare to leave the scene. And Harvey on stage. Dante also stopped talking, his expression cloudy. However, Endless, who was next to him, suddenly shook his head. It's late. Endless, what do you mean by that? When Bruce and Gordon heard this, they were surprised. Could it be that the other party found something? Click, click. However, before they could ask questions, the originally brightly lit hall instantly fell into darkness. Ah! Countless ladies suddenly let out long, thin screams. Shet, is the terrorist attack real? Damn, what the hell is going on here? Fark, fark! Everyone fell into a panic, and the continuous cursing was incessant. Damn, Harvey on stage. Dante also realized that the situation was not good, and went down to protect his panicked sister Jessica next to him. Everyone please listen to the question. This will be a grand guessing scene. Then, a strange voice suddenly sounded, covering all the chaos and noise in the hall and falling on the ears of everyone present. Duh! The moment the voice fell, a light hit the wall, casting a huge question mark that took up most of the wall. Everyone was startled by this movement, suddenly quiet, and subconsciously gathered their eyes towards the wall. The question mark on the wall was as red as blood, and all the panicked eyes present were reflected in the same red. Only by answering the question correctly can you get out alive. All of you only have 60 seconds to answer the questions. Otherwise, hey, this building is going to be detonated. The strange voice sounded again. The tone was strange and sharp at the same time, but it was very indifferent. Indifference to life. It was like a god high above the earth overlooking the ants, not caring about the death or life of the people present. Originally, there were still some people who thought of luck and guessed that this was just a prank. But when he heard this voice, Mo Li felt the fear from instinct. The owner of the voice, I'm not telling a lie. If he wanted to, everyone in the mansion would be buried here. Also, don't blame me for not reminding you. Don't bother to call the police, or I promise this building will be blown up before the police arrive. As soon as the strange voice came out, it instantly pierced the defense line in the hearts of many people. Everyone felt a terrifying shadow of death at this time, and death enveloped them. A blade dangling above his head could fall at any time and take his life. Feel it. It's him, Riddler. Someone recognized this person, who had just killed six people in the elevator yesterday and collapsed to the ground in a collapse. T don't want to die. Some people curled up in a ball, shivering. More people stared at the big bright red question mark on the wall, clenching their teeth and cracking their eyes. Doubts in the heart, crises of life and death, continue to spread and churn in everyone's hearts, stirring nerves. How exactly did the Riddler do this? Where did he hide the bomb? Bruce. Wayne's face was gloomy, his eyes scanning the halls trying to find clues around him. No way, our security technology is all from the Wayne group. Harvey Dent said coldly. He didn't think the Riddlers could easily hide the bomb. T don't think so. Bruce Wayne said in a deep voice, Don't try hard, he won't let us out. Based on Endless's understanding of the Riddler, it is likely that even if he guesses the answer, the other party will not be able to release the person. By this time, the participants in this terrorist attack are no longer alone. Back when Riddler, a guy with an antisocial personality, was ready to destroy Gotham. He has been on the internet, developing his own believer support. Today, it is thanks to the joint efforts of those people that the current crisis has been created. Click. Endless's voice just fell. Suddenly, a thick pillar of light shone down, and the dazzling light enveloped him and Bruce in it. Look at these two and remember them. They are the heroes of Gotham recently, trying to save this hopeless city. Now it's up to them to see if they can really save you. Humph, that weird sound, endless, and the two were immediately introduced to everyone, and when they finished speaking, they let out a mocking sneer. 
the sound falls. All eyes on the scene fell on Endless and them. The two people standing under the light were noticed by the audience. Chapter 47 The Answer to the Riddle The countdown will still be on, inside the hall of the art gallery. The only light fell on Endless and Bruce, and everyone around them focused on them. Who are you, the guy who hides his head and makes a fool of himself? Bruce felt thousands of gazes, frowned, and looked around questioning. This is a difficult question to answer. The strange voice came out of the hall again, from the sound on all sides of the hall, and said slowly, We depend on the perspective from which we look at food. For some, we're friends. To the other people, we are enemies. Speaking of this, the tone of that strange voice is suddenly high-pitched, full of some kind of madness. And for ourselves, why waste meaningless lives trying to answer? Perhaps, this is a meaningful life. The voice from the stereo raised its pitch again and asked Bruce, You're a masked maniac now, trying to prove something? Or a selfless vigilante who decided to take on the burden after seeing Gotham sinking in corruption and dirt? Words with a frantic questioning tone reverberated from the surrounding speakers one after another, and the sound waves rolled into the ears of everyone present. Also rolled towards the Bruce paving. Bruce squinted slightly when he heard this and fell into silence and stopped speaking, as if thinking about what the other party said. Riddler, enough. Just when the owner of the strange voice was excited, Endless interrupted him directly with a cold voice. You better say the riddle quickly, otherwise you won't have a chance for a while. Little one, I almost forgot you. Don't think you can solve my riddle and continue to guess my next answer. The voice in the stereo paused and then laughed gloomily. A guy who slaughtered more than twenty lives in one night, where do you really think he is nobler than me? We are all one kind of people. As soon as this remark came out, the audience was in an uproar again. There was horror on everyone's faces. Shit! I just got so close to such a brutal guy! Damn! Gotta stay away from this guy! Countless people cursed in horror. Those who gathered around Endless desperately retreated like a low tide after hearing his identity. With a look of panic on his face, he left his side with Batman. Looking back at Endless, his eyes did not seem to be looking at a human, but as terrified as a demon crawling out of hell. Huh. The owner of the strange voice, who seemed to be paying attention to everything in the dark, laughed slightly proudly when he saw this scene. It's just a pity. Endless seemed completely indifferent to the reactions of those around him, and his beautiful face was full of indifference. It was as if the rejection from so many other people was completely unworthy of attention to him. Are you afraid, Riddler? Do you want to gain a sense of superiority and show your talent to the world? Endless raised his head to look at the camera in the corner and said in a deep voice. He knew the Riddler, a self-proclaimed highly intelligent being whose intelligence was unique in the world. That's why he uses clues to guide his captors. He wants the world to see his wisdom, show it to the world, and gain a sense of superiority. I have to say, and only a madman in Gotham would do such a thing. With the intelligence of the Riddler, going to work is definitely a career success, but he did not do it. See this scene. The owner of the strange voice behind the stereo suddenly lacked interest and gradually stopped laughing. It seems that he originally thought that people's hearts could be manipulated by his own wanton control. As a result, Endless's reaction gave him a resounding slap in the face. Hmph. Interesting, since you are waiting for my riddle, then come on. He snorted coldly and finally began to give his own puzzle. To not the butcher who kills in Proxima Midnight, I'm not a bat flying in the sky. I could swim in the moonlit lake without getting wet. What am I? Hearing the puzzle, everyone present suddenly looked dazed. You have 60 seconds to answer this question. If you answer wrong or no one answers, heh. At this time, the strange voice coming from the stereo added, Damn, what the is this weird problem? Why did I end up like this at such a time? Being determined by an inexplicable question will determine my life and death? Why? Why? Fark. Fark. Intercession. Harvey, Dante was very anxious when he heard the question, and he racked his brains and couldn't think of what the mystery was, so he directly cursed with a red face. Before Gordon and his party entered the hall, he was infinitely proud of his new mayor. As a result, 
As soon as the lights went out, they were prisoners whose life or death were completely controlled by others. But in a second, it experienced unbearable ups and downs. Harvey, Dante only felt an unleashable resentment in his chest, blocking him almost crazy. The younger sister Jessica next to him was even more trembling because of the situation in front of her. Her brain was blank and shivering. Damn, wacky puzzles again. And Gordon also looked solemn. To not the butcher who kills in Proxima Midnight, I'm not a bat flying in the sky. I could swim in the moonlit lake without getting wet. What am I? What am I? What am I? Bruce froze in place, repeating the question in his mind. While he and Gordon were thinking, they subconsciously turned their eyes to Endless, hoping that the teenager who had solved the puzzle could surprise them again. But for some reason, Endless didn't seem to be thinking about the answer to the question, but squinted his eyes with a smile at the corner of his mouth, turning his head and not knowing what he was looking for. Tick. Time passed minute by minute, and the ticking of the clock on the wall echoed in my ears. Twenty seconds left. Hope you guys hurry. Huh. A prompt suddenly sounded in the stereo. Everyone present, who was already extremely nervous, suddenly tightened their bodies when they heard these words, and only felt that an invisible big hand tightly pinched their hearts at this moment, and their whole bodies were instantly cold. The person behind the stereo seems to enjoy the feeling of touching the mind of others with a few words. The tone began to count down briskly. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. A countdown fell into the ears of those present, as if it turned into a heavy hammer, and every time it was counted, a heavy hammer smashed into the atrium, and the body and all the nerves trembled violently. Are we really all going to die here tonight? A strong sense of despair filled the audience in an instant. Twelve. Eleven. In the stereo, the sound of the riddle counting down becomes more and more proud. Shadow. The mystery of your ridiculous puzzle is the shadow. Just when everyone thought that the problem could not be solved, Endless spoke lightly. Non-number. The triumphant countdown came to an abrupt end. Endless did it. Bruce and Gordon secretly breathed a sigh of relief when they saw this. Ten. Nine. Just when everyone thought it was all over, the Riddler actually started counting down again. Damn, guys. You don't talk about credit. Brust in rage, throwing his head back and roaring. He's going to detonate anyway. It's just a game for this guy. Endless said with an indifferent gaze. Huh. You guys have six seconds. Five seconds. Endless's volume was not high, but the Riddler seemed to be able to hear his words and continued to count down with a sneer and everyone in the room fell into madness. Angry curses, roars, and collapse howls burst out at the same time in an instant, sweeping through the entire hall. Everyone is praying and despairing. You may be useful against ordinary people, but for me... At this time, a contemptuous smile appeared at the corner of Endless's mouth. Your location has been exposed. The voice just fell. An intangible psychic fluctuation was released from his body, instantly covering the nearby area, easily locking onto a figure hiding in a dim room. That place was in the opposite building. And after hearing Endless's words, the figure was visibly stunned and then said disdainfully, You'd better escape before the countdown is over. Chapter 48 The Riddler Who Doesn't Keep His Promises A murderer who committed suicide by jumping off a building. Dimly lit room. Riddler Edward. Nigma sat in front of the computer, her feverish eyes reflecting the picture on the screen, and he could see every desperate and distorted face in the exhibition hall. You guys have three more seconds, hey he. He enjoyed the feeling that the Gotham big shots were easily dominated by just a few words of his own, and his tone continued to count down briskly. In the exhibition hall, everyone felt extremely afraid of this. Damn, damn it! He shouldn't die here, I shouldn't die here! Some of them had already begun to pound wildly against the surrounding walls, but to no avail, the heavy walls seemed to be as far away from heaven and hell as they were. More people had completely given up the struggle at this time, staring blankly at the huge bright red question mark on the wall, their faces shaking in tears. Is that the end of it? Harvey. Dante felt as if he had become a marionette, controlled by a large invisible hand, holding his sister Jessica and slumped in the corner, his heart like ashes. Boom! Boom! 
Damn, how the hell did that guy do all this now? Bruce and Gordon began to try to slam the door open as early as the Riddler continued to count down, but the lock was untouched. The expressions on the faces of the two of them also became more and more ugly. Looking at the current situation, not only did people not save, but they also had to put their lives in it. On the side, Catwoman twisted her brows and looked at Endless. She always felt that the other party was incompatible with the panic and despair atmosphere around her, and she always looked like she was in control. It seems that he has maintained this appearance from the beginning, and no matter what happens, he has never been surprised. Catwoman was really panicked in her heart, but seeing Endless's calm performance, she felt an inexplicable sense of reassurance in her heart. You guys have the last two seconds. Alien to all ambiences is the voice of the Riddler in the stereo. The more desperate, helpless, and frightened the people in the exhibition hall collapsed, the more excited he became, and the more he said with unconcealable happiness. Last second. Good night, Gotham until the last countdown is heard in the stereo. All the previous resistance, unwillingness, angry roars, desperate struggles hoarse, suddenly stopped. A sense of powerlessness that was enough to swallow everything instantly enveloped everyone else present. Endless still stood with his eyes slightly lowered and saw that almost everyone except himself instinctively held their heads and squatted down at the same time, giving up the struggle in the face of this strange fate. Whether it's the Marvel world or the DC world, the fate of those without power is always in the control of others. His gaze slowly turned between everyone. The people who squatted one by one, in Endless's opinion, did not let them crouch down by some bomb arranged by the Riddler, but their weakness and powerlessness. That's why I decided to become stronger, able to completely control my destiny in such a world. He thought expressionlessly. Next second. The room suddenly fell into a long silence. The expected explosion did not sound, and the voice of the Riddler in the stereo disappeared. We didn't die? Is that guy doing some tricks again? Those who noticed this stood up with a confused look on their faces, looking around blankly, all their hearts still hanging tightly. They already knew something about the Riddler hiding behind the stereo. The other party is completely a moody freak who sees people's lives as a game for fun. No one dares to guarantee that the other party will make such a big move tonight just to achieve a low evil prank. Did the Riddler keep his promise? Bruce, the doubt under Wayne's eyes was equally thick. Although he only had a brief confrontation with the other party through the E case, the two sides have not even met. But Bruce, with his years of experience in dealing with crime, was already sure that the Riddler was a complete madman and would not have such good character. Gordon was also incredulous about everything in the moment and looked around blankly. It's okay. It's okay. Harvey experienced great joy and sorrow. Dante, who was too exhausted to think too much, softly comforted his sister Jessica in his arms. Then, zizizi, there was another electric current sound in the hall. Damn! Who are you? Get out of my head! Give me the fuck out of my head! When everyone's heart stiffened again, they heard a heart-rending cry. What's wrong with this guy? What happened? Everyone recognized the owner of this voice as the Riddler just now, feeling that the other party was completely without the previous clouds and breeze. Looks like that guy has some problems. Bruce took a deep breath. It's not sure if the bomb will explode yet. You still have to get out of here as soon as possible. Thoughts fell, and he raised his foot again and slammed into the door in front of him. Gordon and others reacted in horror and came to his aid. Boom, boom, boom. Countless sounds of banging on the gate sounded one after another, and everyone was doing their best under the instinct of survival. And the crowd does not know. Darkened room in the opposite building. Edward, Nigma was falling to her knees, tugging at her hair, her face twisted and her eyes screaming in pain. He felt an invisible force creeping into his brain, making it painful. Meanwhile, boom, with a violent sound, the originally locked door of the exhibition hall finally opened. The door is open. Let's go. Get out of this hellish place. Seeing this, everyone in the hall had already abandoned other ideas and rushed towards the open door. And the screams of the Riddler in the stereo behind him still echoed in his ears. Catwoman watched more and more people flee the venue, 
only felt that something was wrong, turned around and saw Endless standing in the dark, two fingers slowly lowered from his temple. The latter noticed her gaze and smiled at her. After everyone else left, Endless and his party walked out slowly. There is a clue. My people have traced the source of the Riddler's signal. Bruce, Wayne said. He's in the building opposite. Words fall. As soon as he received the news from Alfred, the butler, he was ready to leave and run towards the Riddler's hiding place. No matter what happens, you must catch the Riddler. You can't let that guy go. No need to make an effort. In a moment, the Riddler himself will come down. At this time, he heard Endless speak slowly. Wu, Bruce, and Gordon, who had just taken two steps, stopped and looked back when they heard this, and there was confusion in their eyes when they looked at Endless. Some do not understand the meaning of the latter. Seeing that the expression on Endless's face was indifferent and confident, the doubts in their hearts were even heavier. Until now, they hadn't figured out why the Riddler had given up detonating the bomb and hissed in such pain and apparently the teenager in front of him seems to have the truth of everything. Bruce and Gordon's lips moved, both wanting to say something. Yet the next second. Boom. A figure fell from the sky in the opposite building, landing fiercely and making a muffled sound. Seeing this, Bruce rushed up and saw that the other party should have hit the ground with the back of the head. The skull behind the head was broken, and the minced flesh, bone stubble, blood and brain flowers were on the ground, splattering a red and white flower. He took a deep breath to wipe the corpse's face, saw a question mark printed on it, and turned to look at Endless in surprise. Shen Shen said, he should be the Riddler. Endless, you did this? Chapter 49, Selina, have you forgotten about the evening? Bruce looked at the lifeless corpse on the ground except for maintaining body temperature. You did this? He turned his head to look at Endless. His expression was strange. Bruce felt that from the day he met each other, he had seen too many things beyond his cognitive imagination. So after seeing the scene in front of him, he immediately thought of Endless. Sure enough, it's just that he is not strong enough. Seeing that Endless shrugged his shoulders and didn't care, he directly acquiesced to this matter. Bruce. Wayne fell silent when he heard this, and his eyes became more and more complicated as he looked at the teenager in front of him. In the past few years that he has been out and about, he has heard many strange things, and some people can control the minds of others at a certain distance. Recalling the Riddler's cry of pain just now, everything seemed reasonable. Endless not only has extraordinary strength and self-healing power, but also has this ability. Bruce. Wayne realized this and was shocked and made him more wary of Endless and the strength of the other party was far beyond his imagination. At the moment, a large part of the scene near the scene has been cordoned off by the police. Those big shots who were originally invited to the exhibition were physically and mentally exhausted by the events just now. Some strongly demanded that they need to go back to rest, while others were still immersed in the previous fear, slumped on the ground pale and panicked. There were also various reassuring words, plus more and more police cars came to the scene with alarm bells. The sound in the air is noisy and incomparably loud. The night breeze, which has begun to gradually cool, makes people feel extremely cold at this moment. Bruce. Wayne stood in such an environment, looking at the teenager, who still remained calm and did not have the slightest panic. Although the other party stood in front of him so unobstructed, he still felt that Endless's body was shrouded in a mysterious fog that could not be seen at all, which made people feel deeply dangerous and uneasy. You don't have to worry. People who don't provoke me will never be fine. Endless felt the other party's mood begin to fluctuate and hesitate, and said with a smile. When Catwoman next to him heard this, she silently moved into the distance. I take back what I said before. You know how to detect. Then she recalled the questioning words she had said to Endless and smiled awkwardly. However, in a short period of contact, Catwoman has been deeply aware of the horror of the other party, for fear that the other party will hate herself because of the previous incident. Unconsciously, the once lonely and arrogant black cat has begun to show its well-behaved side. We've found out, this person is the Riddler, this annoying guy can finally stop. Then, 
Gordon came over, and the stone that seemed to have been weighing on his heart finally fell. It's just that when he set his eyes on Endless, the expression on his face became strange and complicated again. Gordon has acted with the latter twice, and each incident has been properly resolved under the other's extraordinary ability. But he still can't fully trust the seemingly ordinary teenager in front of him as his companion. In his eyes, Endless was also shrouded in a mysterious mist that was confusing and unclear. If nothing else, your identity may make headlines tomorrow. Gordon took a deep look at Endless, a little unclear in his heart, and couldn't tell whether his words were a reminder or a warning. After all, many people in the pavilion tonight have seen you. Really? Do other people around here know me? When Endless heard this, he looked at those people with different postures, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. In fact, when he released the psychic fluctuations just now, he not only locked the Riddler, but also imprisoned the memories of the people around him. No one will remember, bear him, to don't understand what you mean. Gordon didn't understand what Endless meant, and his brows furrowed slightly. Everything is clear and vivid. How can no one else know him? Bruce on the side shook his head helplessly and patted Gordon's shoulder. Be careful, he's a necromancer now. After speaking, he raised his hand and shot out the hook lock, hooked the wall and jumped up. Still don't understand. Gordon turned his head in confusion, but found that not only Batman, but also Endless and Catwoman behind him were also missing. Shit! It's all a bunch of freaks. Seeing this, he couldn't help but curse in a low voice. Gotham is not destined to be calm tonight. The roof of an apartment building. Three figures stood upstairs looking at the oppressive and gloomy city in front of them. Still want to know, who are you? Bruce looked at the night view of the city, but couldn't help but ask Endless the question again. The Riddler has already given you the answer before. Sometimes, is identity really that important? When Endless heard the other party's words, he turned his head and looked over. A smile appeared between his eyebrows. When Bruce heard this, he was stunned and then shook his head and chuckled. He understood Endless's words. Maybe at some point, no. In all cases, the more important thing about human interaction is the position between the two sides. Among them, the determination of identity is only one of the ways to judge the position. The most important thing is what position the person in front of you stands. As long as they stand on the same side with each other and are not enemies, identity is not so important. You're right. I should have had the answer in my heart. After Bruce shared the joints, he immediately relieved a pimple in his heart, and a smile appeared under his eyes. Sk! Obviously the hair has not grown together, so it will be pretended. Catwoman looked deep when she saw Endless speak, and couldn't help but complain when she raised her eyebrows. Hearing this, the latter turned his eyes slightly. Selina, have you forgotten about the evening? He stared at Catwoman, who was dressed in a black tights and had all the curves of her figure in full view, and seemed to be smiling. Catwoman in this period was only a few years older than him, and in addition to being physically developed just right, her thoughts and behaviors were far from mature in the later period. For example, when doing things, you hardly think about more consequences, just rely on your own preferences. There are also thoughts that cannot be hidden, and a lot of joy, anger, and sorrow will be directly displayed. Thinking of this, Endless's eyes smiled even heavier. If you have time later, you can teach Catwoman. What? Catwoman Selina was stunned when she heard this. Chapter 50. Head to Metropolis, a city like no other. What? When Catwoman on the other side heard this, she realized that she had already been recognized. Recalling his expression all the way before, he suddenly felt a little puffed up like a fried cat. What a shame. I thought about pretending to look in front of him and relieving the hatred in my heart. I didn't expect her to be a joker from beginning to end. So you've been kidding me? Catwoman Selina threw out her whip in dissatisfaction and whipped it fiercely at endless. Syllable. However, as soon as she raised her hand, she was grabbed by the other party's slender fingers, and the leather whip was easily snatched away. Only bad boys get pumped, Selina, are you? Endless played with the leather whip in his hand and looked at Catwoman's seductive body without concealment. Catwoman felt the evil in the teenager's eyes in anger. 
swallowed her saliva, and took two steps back. After looking at Endless with hatred again, the pretty face under the mask was instantly dyed red. She remembered the other's necromancer-like ability, and her brows furrowed and jumped directly from the roof. Grabbing the water pipe and sliding downstairs, the high heels just stepped on the ground, then took two slender thighs and ran away like a run. Endless watched the woman's swift back disappear through the streets and did not choose to chase. He still has something to discuss with Bruce, and it's never too late to play again when he has a chance in the future. Bruce, I need your help getting a fake ID and admission letter from Metropolitan University. Endless turned to look at the other party. Be ready before tomorrow. With the ability to replicate, his biggest expectation for the DC Universe is the opportunity to obtain a superb ability. Previously, due to interference for various reasons, you can't be distracted. Now that almost everything is in place, this plan should be put on the agenda. No problem. Bruce didn't hesitation to come down. Although Endless had previously told him that the news of his enemy was just a deal, Bruce was still grateful for it. In addition to this, the powerful teenager has helped himself with cases on several occasions, and we will definitely cooperate again in the future. So for Endless's request to help him do things, Bruce naturally would not refuse. However, while nodding, he suddenly remembered that the content of Endless's previous deal with him was to find a name Clark. People from Kent. He has an excellent memory. Thousands of Clarks come to mind. One of Kent's schools studied at the Metropolitan University. Maybe Endless's trip is with that Clark. Kent related? Bruce did not say the words in his heart, but thought silently, and at the same time invited Endless. It's already late at night, if you don't mind, you can go to my manor for the time being. Have what you want ready and give it to you the first time. Thanks, but I'm not interested in going home with a man. Endless teased. In fact, he plans to return to the Marvel Universe, and it is not too late to sleep again. In that case, then I'm okay. Bruce saw that he refused and did not force it. Toot toot. At this time, his mobile phone suddenly rang, and an urgent voice came from the other end of the phone, accompanied by crying. With his super five senses, Endless could tell that the person calling was Harvey, Dent's sister, Jessica. Speaking of which, the other party is still Bruce's once deeply loved lover. It's a pity that since the latter decided to become a dark knight, he took the initiative to break off the relationship without implicating the other party. What? Something happened to Dante. Jessica, calm down, I'll go right now. Bruce put down the phone, and his expression became solemn. Damn, Harvey, Dante's car was planted with a time bomb by the Riddler, and although he was not in the car when it exploded, he was badly burned. Have to go over. I will prepare what you want for by six o'clock tomorrow morning. Neng, you can wait for me here. Just finished speaking, Bruce eagerly turned and jumped downstairs and disappeared into the darkness. The Riddler's hand is really unexpected. Endless looked at the black back that quickly disappeared in the night, his eyes slightly closed and flickered. According to today's situation, Two-Face is likely to be online soon. In that case, the guy who represents chaos and madness... Joker will soon appear too. The thought proceeds here. Endless raised his head and looked all the way out, as if he could see the entire city exuding an oppressive atmosphere. It looks like Gotham City is going to get more and more interesting, he muttered. After Endless solved many troubles, he also slept peacefully. Plus, there are expectations in the heart. The next day. When Endless came to DC Gotham again at the appointed time, he only felt that he was in good spirits and Bruce dressed in a bat battle suit. Wayne was waiting there earlier. He didn't seem to rest all night, and standing there in a mask revealed an unconcealable tiredness. To have prepared what you want for you, as long as you don't do anything out of the ordinary to provoke the FBI to investigate you, there will be no problem with this identity at all. Bruce handed Endless an identity file and admission letter, as agreed. After the latter was sure that it was okay, he did not stop too much and left in a hurry. It seems that Dante's death also had a great impact on him. After all, the other party's sister is Bruce's once beloved lover. And according to what Endless knows about him, knowing that in fact, Bruce also thought about if Harvey, who was full of a sense of justice, 
Dante becomes the new mayor and can really start to change Gotham City and become a knight of light who can walk in the sun. Then he, the Dark Knight, may be able to choose to retire. Unfortunately, in the end, such an unsatisfactory thing happened. Life is like a play. There are always too many waves and accidents, pushing us forward step by step. Thinking of this, Endless shook his head with emotion. Then he didn't stop much and got on the bus to the metropolis. Soon. Endless came to the metropolis. There are many tall buildings and the deep space is no longer gloomy and dim, but the sky is clear and cloudless. He followed the flow of people out of the station, looked at the city in front of him, which was completely different from Gotham, and narrowed his eyes slightly. The city's crime rate is nowhere near as high as Gotham's, but in the future there will be a presence powerful enough to change the world. God's on Earth, Superman, and he, too, is Endless's goal this time. 